All right. Here's your teasers for the next video. We've had this older ASV for quite a while, the HD 4520, and we just got this one last fall. We don't have much time on it. Other than we like it, we'll get back to you on ASVs. And we just got back from World of Concrete in Las Vegas. We met the Marshalltown guys. They got a lot of new products we'll be testing and checking out. This is gonna be a video on a head-to-head -head comparison of some of the most popular saws and the Solo 14 inch saw that we won at the World of Concrete. Um, we have a ton of Husqvarna stuff. The one thing I wanna say is you pretty much can't go wrong with Husqvarna. They're at the price point. You definitely wanna pay for construction tools. And overall, we've really had 90 plus percent success with them. The one thing I'm gonna say about the, the failure we experienced is this 970, a regular 16 inch blade, that's actually been rebuilt twice. And this 970 ring saw, other than the normal wear items has been perfect. I heard some information though that the newer 970s have something internally different with the piston and ring, where that saw is three years older than this one. It's essentially the same saw, but a different cutting head on it, that this one has an older style and it's failed us twice. The first time they tried saying that we didn't put uh, oil and the gas but the second time we were monitoring that like a hawk and there was definitely oil in that gas so um yeah i gotta say there's some truth to the point about it, there being an issue the electric saw is fine but it is for for long cuts it's really kind of underpowered we actually have three of these makita had three of these makita four strokes one of them got stolen and as you can see this one's got its pull cord ripped out right here. We're gonna start switching over pull cords to this Cobra brand, the unbreakable cord. Uh, my brother first found this last year. I didn't know they made cords for small engines. I've known they made cords for snowmobiles. I have not tried any of them yet, so we'll be trying that soon. All right, guys. So the object of this, just before they start the saws, I'm gonna to say to the object of this is to test Diamond Saw Blades International blades and a Husqvarna 970, a Husqvarna K750, a Makita four stroke, which is a 14 inch, and a Solo iLube 881, which most people probably don't even realize Solo makes saws, because I mean, really, when's the last time you saw a Solo saw? Um, we'll get to the price points of these, these uh, saws in a second and I will put the website information for all of them online. These saws have all been preheated, pre-warmed up prior to this test. They've been, the, the three on the left are, that one's about three years old, and these two are about, that one's probably two years old, and that one's one year old. This one's brand new. This is its first literal cut out of the box after break-in procedures. Always check your manufacturer's recommended break-in procedures, right? Of course. So go ahead, fire those things up. All right, put them in order. The 970 was first, the Makita was second, the other, 
The other Husqvarna 750 was third, and it surprises me the Solo was dead last. Maybe it needs to break in some more. Those are some pretty nice cuts with a little bit of break. Yeah, the, most parking bumpers, that's why we did this. It has one piece of rebar, sometimes two. That's why this was a very fair universal test. I expected the 970 to win. I expected the four-stroke Makita or the Solo to come in second. I did not expect the Solo to come in last. It, that was a surprise for me. And then uh, just at, before I forget the price points here, the current pricing of a brand new 970 is $1,335. The current price of the saw that replaced the 750 is now called the 760, and that's $849. The current price of the Makita four stroke is $1,065. So it's between those two. It's between those two. It's cheaper than the little one. And less expensive than the 970. And then the Solo is for the iLube model, which costs more because it's oil injection. That's roughly 1300. So they're all in the ballpark, but by far the most cost efficient, you'd have to say is the 750, 760 Husqvarna. And notes that we can say about, we've had the most use time with that saw. And then we switched over to this one, the, the four stroke Makita. If you were doing a ton of rapid little cuts like brickwork, I would take the Husqvarna because a brick doesn't take much energy to cut. What's that? What are you showing? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll say that in the wheels. It, a brick doesn't take much energy to cut. If you were doing, and, and it starts really quick. So if you're doing a ton of little cuts, the Husqvarna is quicker, easier, shut off, start, shut off, start, shut off, start, shut off, start. If you're doing longer pavement type cuts or joint lines in concrete, you're gonna want the Makita because it has the wheels for making nice straight joint lines. Those are kind of buggered up with crap right now. We gotta clean those, but it really, really works well. And the torque, I, I can't explain it. You almost have to feel it. Highly recommend the Makita if you're doing joint lines and long cuts because the torque, especially when you put a 12 inch blade in place of the 14 inch blade, it really has a unique pull to it. You can, it's much harder to bog down the Makita than it is the 750. You can just put a little too much force on the 750 and it'll, it'll stop cutting, it'll bog out because it's got too much friction on the blade. So it, it depends on what you're doing if you can only buy one. If you can buy a multitude of saws, buy a multitude of saws, and I'd say get a newer 970 for your big cutting stuff. And Makita does have a, a 970 competitor as well that we just don't have yet. We tested it at the World of Concrete it seems to be every bit as good as the 970 for a 16 inch cut, which we use all the time when we're doing our crazy concrete cutting. Um, am I missing anything guys? I think so. I'd say we're gonna know more about the Solo after today cause we're literally loading up after this and we're gonna go do two bollard repair and installs at a gas station. So there's gonna be a lot of challenging and unique angled cuts with the Solo. We'll take that today just to test it. But I'd have to say, I really don't have any other information on here. If anybody else has any other experiences they want to share, only other thing I'd say here is the Makita water system and the Husqvarna water systems have all failed. Someone needs to come up with a better system for hydrating the blade, per se. You can see the Husqvarna has always fallen out. Fallen out of its holder on us and the Makita just downright snap. I think the Makita actually burned from the heat of the muffler. I think that's what happened. But as you can see, we use the hose, which our hose of choice is always Flexzilla. Um, yeah, if you've got any other experiences on the job or off, put them in the comments. Thanks.